What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and to this very special edition of Thirsty Thursday. And, uh, well, I'm in Utah. So what's up, welcome back to the channel. Like I said, I'm George from Baggers and Brews and I am at the Uinta Brewing Company here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Been uh, spending the better part of uh, about five days here in Salt Lake, but a week out in Utah traveling around. And a uh, great state. As you can see, it is windy as all get up right now. And everybody around Salt Lake said, if you're gonna visit a brewery, Uinta is the one to visit. So it's a pretty big brewery, 135 barrels five vessel system started in 1993 so not new stuff is found in around 35 states and uh, let's get inside and taste some beer man So what's up everybody, as you saw, I'm here at Uinta Brewing in Salt Lake with Austin. Yes sir. What's up, some great beers. The Cutthroat, I thought the Cutthroat was very cool. That's our, that's our staple. Yeah. Oh, and, that's like what everyone drinks here. Yeah. Well. Very, very good pale ale. I'm drinking some of the, uh, whoop, the Mango Golden Spike, which I gotta tell you, I didn't think I was gonna like because it's fun. No, yep. no, no banana in the, no, no banana, and yep. we just took out all the banana, so it's not like a German half, and then we put mango in it, so we, we switched it up. It's more yeah. fruity, more summery. It's better that way. Very so. nice, and it's yeah. hot out here, so yeah, light beers will yeah. be, uh, That's what we're shooting yeah. for. I mean, in the winter, we have more blacks, more lagers. Yeah, we do a couple stouts, but mm. during the summer, it's all fruit. It's so, hot. Yeah. It's, um, so, which light beers brings me to my questions. Mm -hmm. Holy cow with the Utah laws. They are what they are, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, beer on tap. So only five percent. Mm -hmm. We can only that will only let us serve five percent on tap. Um, there is a limit to how many we can serve on tap in an hour. We can get in trouble for over serving more than let's say four beers in an hour to someone, even though it's five percent. Ah. So um, five percent. It used to be three point two until. Uh, I think it was 2020 when we switched it up to 5%. Mm. So now it's, you know, regular beer, but it was uh, 3.2 water. You could drink 19 beers and just be bloated <laughs> and not feel a damn thing. Not feel anything. No, no. But now it's good. Um, we can, you know, do it a high percent alcohol in mm. cans. Okay. But they do a additional tax, sales tax, on that for breweries. So, you know, we don't make any money on those, but breweries just kind of make those to show off what they can do. Right, right. So, And you can ship them out of state. No, we can ship it out of state. We can do higher percent kegs exactly. out of state. We can't even sell our own kegs here okay. in Utah. Yep. yep. So, you know. And uh, so you guys are bars, as licensed as bars. Very, right. Very different than what we're used to in Jersey where breweries are licensed as breweries. Right. So we we, have, we can serve liquor mm -hmm. with your beer. Um, it's a full bar, but you have to be 21 to enter. You can't bring your kids into the brewery. Yeah. It's just... You know, adults 21. drink beer. Yeah. Which is from where we are, like out east. It's I know nice. Pensy's the same way, Jersey's the same way. It's a bar, it's bar nice. restaurant. You can be underage to be at a bar, but you can't sit at the bar. Right. A lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. And a brewery, you could bring in babies. You have a baby in a bar. And yeah, and we're, I, 
It's not, we don't have anything against babies, but yeah. we do like having, you know. It's definitely a different atmosphere. Yeah, it's a, it's a better atmosphere. Right? So, and the other thing you guys can do it here in Utah is the way your license is, you can serve hard liquor. Yeah, so you can have a shot with your beer. Okay. You know, a little train wreck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very so, nice, yeah. very nice. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no go, no go. Yeah, so that that's good. <laughs> There's weird, like, they, they control it so, so tight, mm -hmm. and then they'll let some things Other fly. Things just kind of go. Yeah, so it makes no sense. It's just a whole bunch of people that don't drink that are making the rules. Awesome. So, well, so what happens here? But I've been loving it. You, <laughs> you went to awesome food. Yeah. Yeah, so this is, yeah, these yeah. guys, it's a separate entity. Yep. We just rent out our kitchen to these local guys. They started out in a food truck, and now they're here banging out food. Yep. Pub Grub, they're bomb. It's it's a little better than Pub Grub. Right? Yeah, you know, it's fancy ass Pub Grub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good shit. It's, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> that was a burger with like some pickled chilies and mm, grilled pineapple yeah, on it. Yeah. I mean, that's a little better than Grub Pub. Yeah, that's true. But uh, listen, great beers. Hey, dude, it was good chilling you with you today. Good so, stuff. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. You guys better come out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm just standing out here in the patio of Uinta Brewery. It's um, yeah, people weren't wrong when they were like, when you're in Salt Lake, if you're gonna hit a brewery, hit Uinta. And awesome, awesome brewery. A lot of laws here, as you saw in uh, in Utah. And anything they want to put on tap has got to be five percent or less. And that may not seem like a big deal, but it is a huge deal to have as many beers as they have and different styles of beer and to make different styles of beer fit into the parameters that they need it to fit that 5% ABV is definitely a challenge in brewing and it's a challenge a lot of brewers around the nation don't have to even deal with so definitely a little bit of talent that they uh, you know that they're exercising here at Uinta and again available 35 states they are pushing soon for a 50 state uh, availability. And sorry if you're getting a little bit of the wind out here. It's it's windy in Utah. And um, so, I mean, look for it. Look for it by, by you, hopefully soon, if not already. And if you're outside of the state of Utah, you can have some of their double IPAs and those type of beers because they do ship that stuff outside of the state of Utah. And you can get it on tap as well, all right? Listen, thanks for watching. Hit that sub button, hit that thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.